Many products in food, cosmetics, biotech, and medicines, as well as advances in science, are based on genetic resources. Already in 1992, the CBD had established access and benefit-sharing principles, which includes the obligation for users of genetic resources to share benefits with providers of those resources. However, one challenge remained to ensure benefit sharing once the user has left the provider country with the genetic resource. There was no international system that allowed the provider to keep track of what was happening with their resource abroad. With the Nagoya Protocol, which entered into force in 2014, this changed. The ABS Clearinghouse was established as the central hub to facilitate the necessary communication and information exchange between users, providers, and governments. The ABS Clearinghouse facilitates the monitoring of the utilization of a genetic resource once it leaves the provider country. The Nagoya Protocol sets up a system to inform the provider country on milestones related to the utilization of genetic resources abroad. However, to make this system work, every country needs to take action at the national level. Therefore, a country must establish at least one competent national authority, or CNA for short. The CNA issues a permit to grant access to genetic resources in accordance with domestic regulations. Key information from the permit must be transferred to the ABS Clearinghouse. The submitted information now constitutes the internationally recognized Certificate of Compliance. Now, let's turn our attention to a user. After possibly many years of laboratory work, she has succeeded in research and development and now puts a product on the market. With her certificate and the required documentation, she goes to the authority for market approval in her country. This authority, since it has been designated to act as checkpoint in the ABS process, sends a message called a checkpoint communique to the ABS clearinghouse. The ABS Clearinghouse, having received the checkpoint communique, automatically informs the CNA in the provider country. This allows the competent national authority to compare the communique with the initial permit, domestic legislation, and with the contract documents. Action can now be taken by the CNA if the utilization was not in accordance with the initial agreement. Certainty for all parties is ensured through this process, no matter how much time has passed. Let's take a closer look at the key elements of this global system for monitoring the utilization of genetic resources. The CNA in a country is responsible for issuing a permit when access requirements are met and benefit sharing is agreed. When the information from the permit issued by the CNA is registered on the ABS Clearinghouse, it becomes the Internationally Recognized Certificate of Compliance, the central document to ensure legal certainty in the user country. The ABS Clearinghouse facilitates the exchange and flow of information with respect to the utilization of genetic resources. Furthermore, countries that have ratified the Nagoya Protocol are obliged to share information on their national ABS procedures in the ABS Clearinghouse. This information helps users to understand the particular ABS requirements of a given country. Checkpoints gather information from users on when and how genetic resources are being utilized in order to report back to the ABS Clearinghouse and thus inform the provider. Typical checkpoints are patent offices, funding institutions, publishers, market approval authorities, and other institutions dealing with innovation, product development, and commercialization. The checkpoint communique is a standard form for compiling the information gathered by the checkpoint in order to make it available to the ABS clearinghouse and forward it to the provider. All countries have to put all these elements in place. 
only when these elements are operating effectively will monitoring the use of genetic resources between countries be possible. This will contribute to increasing transparency and trust and result in more ABS agreements and partnerships, which in turn translate into advances in science, more innovation, products, and benefit sharing for users, providers, and the conservation of nature. <laughs>